Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dez, your Mukap Girl, and sa video na to, nag-try out ako ng limang tips sa pagkoconceal ng dark under eye circles. Kung mapapansin nyo, magkaiba yung kalagayan nung right under eye ko and nung left under eye ko. That's because sa under eye na to, ginawa ko yung limang tips na nahanap ko sa YouTube. And then, sa under eye na to, hindi ko ginawa yung tips. Kaya, as you can see, mukha siyang haggard. So, if you're interested to know kung ano yung limang tips na nakalap ko sa YouTube, then please keep on watching. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So guys, ito try natin yung mga tips and hacks na nakita ko online on my face. And ngayon, naka-foundation lang ako, lipstick and kilay. As you can see, walang product dun sa under eye ko kasi iniwasan ko talagang lagyan siya ng product because ito test nga natin yung mga tips and hacks na nagather ko sa iba't ibang beauty gurus. So without further ado, let's try on the first tip. First tip guys is to moisturize the under eye area and you can do that by using moisturizers, eye creams, or even eye masks. And here I have the Collagen Eye Zone Mask from the brand Skin Light and 100 pesos lang to sa Beauty Manila. I also have the Snail Repair Eye Cream from the brand Mizon and ito naman, nabili ko siya ng 294 pesos from Beauty Manila pero yung original price niya is mga nasa 420 pesos. I have another eye cream and this is the Eye Lift Cream from Quick Effects and ito affordable lang din siya guys. I'll first apply the eye mask on this side of my eyes and yung side na to hindi ko siya lalagyan ng kahit ano. So, this is how the mask looks like and ikakabit mo lang siya dun sa under eye area mo. So, I have to wait 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Ayan na guys, it has been 15 minutes and pwede ko nang tanggalin yung eye mask. And this is how my under eye looks like right now. I'm not sure if nakikita na yung result but yung claim naman kasi nitong eye zone mask is to help restore moisture and elasticity, to improve the water balance of the skin, and diminish the signs of aging. It is also effective to reduce eye puffiness and dark circles. So, ayun. Now na na-absorb na nung under eye area ko yung eye mask and medyo tuyo na siya ngayon, I am going to apply an eye cream. I'll be using this Mizon Snail Repair Eye Cream and again, dito lang sa side na to ko siya i-a-apply. Yan, ganyan lang kakonti yung gagamitin ko kasi a little goes a long way with this product and idadab ko lang siya dun sa under eye area ko. And then, idadamay ko rin yung corner na to kasi this tends to go dry and hindi siya kinakapitan ng concealer, ng foundation, even ng eyeshadow. So, idadamay ko siya para ma-moisturize siya. Now that this under eye has been moisturized, let's now go to the second tip. second tip guys na nakalap ko sa internet is to use a primer. Merong mga under eye primers sa market pero I don't have those. So I'll stick with the items na meron ako. And right now, ang gagamitin ko for this under eye is this BTLA Makeup Base Foundation. And this is my go-to primer. Ang claim kasi nito guys, it preps, primes, and moisturizes the skin. So this is exactly what I need for my dark and dry under eye area. So, I'll just use a very small amount of this primer and idadab ko siya dito sa part na to. Ang kagandahan sa primer na to, it makes the skin tacky. Medyo malagkit yung skin after applying it. So, nagiging mas makapit yung concealer and foundation kapag ito yung gamit ko. Sa side na to, gagamitan ko rin siya ng primer and I will use this Quick Effects No Shine Mattifier. I don't suggest na gamitin nyo to sa under eye area, especially kapag dry yung skin nyo sa area na yun. 
kapag kasi silicone based yung primer, feeling ko it just sits on the skin and lalo niyang napapadulas yung mga products na ia-apply mo on top of it. So, feeling ko ito, ito yung nagkukos ng pag-breakdown ng concealer ko, ng foundation ko. That's why hindi ko talaga siya madalas gamitin. So, para lang meron kayong reference kung ano yung effect nito sa akin, ito yung gagamitin ko for this under eye. Inadab ko lang siya like so and right off the bat talagang ang dulas na ng skin ko. It doesn't feel hydrated pero madulas siya. So now that these under eyes are well primed, let's now proceed to the third tip. guys is to color correct and honestly I don't have a color corrector right now so what I'm going to use is a red lipstick. Ito rin yung ginawa ko dun sa bridal makeup tutorial ko to hide my dark circles so ang gagamitin ko today is itong EB Lux lipstick in the shade Goddess. Ayon sa pagsasaliksik ko guys ha, yung dark circles daw natin, meron silang blue and violet undertones. And pag tinignan nyo sa color wheel, mapapansin nyo na yung color na opposite sa blue and violet is orange. So normally, orange color correctors yung ginagamit ng mga beauty gurus to correct their under eye circles. Yung iba nga salmon color, yung iba peach color, but for me, I will use red because I don't have those color correctors. So ito siya guys, and konting-konti lang din yung kailangan mong gamitin. Ganto lang kadami. And then ilalagay mo siya dun sa areas of the under eye na sobrang dark. In my case, dito yon from the corner hanggang dun sa kalahating part. And then, carefully, idab nyo lang. Hindi kailangan sobrang matingkad yung pagkarib. Kailangan lang ma-cancel out yung blue and violet undertones. So, ayan, ispread nyo lang siya. So, ayan, it's not too crazy kasi OA naman kung sobrang pula nung ilalagay nyo. Ganyang intensity lang, tama na yan. And again, dito sa side na to, hindi ako magko-color correct. Let's now proceed to the fourth tip. So, the fourth tip is to apply your favorite concealer. And here I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and my EB Advance Perfect Eye Concealer. Try muna nating i-apply itong EB Advance Concealer and then ipapatong ko itong Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I don't have any reason for doing that, pero gusto ko lang na talagang matakpan yung dark circles ko. That's why maglilayer ako ng mga concealer. Dinadab ko lang siya para hindi mag-move yung in-apply nating products before itong EB Advance Concealer. Ayan guys, somehow nakikita nyo na na nawala na yung dark circles, right? So ayan guys, hindi ko alam kung pronounced yung difference pero Alos wala namang pinagkaiba, di ba? What do you think? Now, let's proceed to applying this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer naman. There you go guys, nalagyan ko na pareho ng concealer yung under eyes ko and I'm not sure kung meron bang pagkakaiba. Ang napansin ko lang so far is that mas pronounced yung fine lines ko sa under eye na to. Parang mas halata mo na merong linya. Whereas dito, meron ding linya pero hindi siya ganun kahalata. Meron pa pala akong isang tip for concealing guys. Nakikita nyo ba yung shadow? Kunwari, ayan no. Di ba may shadow dyan? And eto din may shadow. Ang tip dyan is that gumamit daw ng lighter na concealer para itak 
Japan yung shadow na nakikita natin. So, gagawin ko yun ngayon and I'll use this brush. Itong concealer ko from Miniso and lighter yung shade nito and I'll use this to do that trick. Magpipick up lang ako ng product from this and let's see kung anong magiging effect nito. So, ayan, nakikita natin may shadow siya, di ba? So, doon tayo mag apply ng concealer. And again, binadab ko lang siya. And then, hanapin natin yung isa pang shadow. Ito. And then, just to make sure na na-blend yung concealer, gagamitin ko yung finger ko para i-dab. Para naman walang harsh lines. And to make sure lang na hindi mukhang may linyang dalawa dun sa akin under eye. Now, nagawa ko na yung dalawang tips for concealing. Now, let's proceed to the fifth and last tip. So, yung fifth step, guys, is to set the concealer para hindi mag-move yung product. And ang tip daw is to use minimal powder when setting your under eye. Kasi yung powder, yun yung nagkukos ng pagkikake and pagkikrease dun sa under eye. So, as much as possible, dapat konti lang yung gagamitin mong powder. Having said that, minimal lang yung gagawin kong pagsiset dito and then dito sa side na to, magbe-bake ako. So, there. Naset ko na yung side na to and now I'll bake naman this other side. So, I'll just let this bake for a few minutes and I'll be right back. So, guys, it has been siguro mga 3 minutes. So, I think okay nang tanggalin tong bake na to. And let's see kung meron bang drastic na pagkakaiba dun sa dalawang under eye. So, ayan na, guys. Um... Let's see. Ako, ang una ko talagang napansin is yung fine lines. Mas matindi yung fine lines dito as compared to this side. Ayan o, makikita nyo dito parang merong isang line dito. Parang madami siya. And parang hindi ganun ka-fresh tingnan. Nakikita niyo ba yung tinutukoy ko? Sa part na to, mukha namang fresh yung under eye. And hindi siya mukhang dry. Whereas dito, parang nakikita niyo na madaming fine lines. And talagang mukha siyang dry. Mukha siyang lupa na tigang. The preparation, yung pagmamoisturize, yung pagpaprime. Yun yung feeling kong nakatulong. Kaya wala masyadong lines sa side na to, whereas dito, dahil nga dry siya and hindi siya moisturized, hindi siya hydrated, kaya masyadong pronounced yung mga lines, yung mga fine lines. So, in conclusion, feeling ko talagang nag-work yung mga tips dito sa side na to, and dito naman sa side na to, hindi siya ganun kagandahan yung effect. Although, na blur din naman yung dark circle, na hide din naman yung dark circle, pero it all boils down to the freshness of the under eyes. Makikita nyo naman na itong side na to, mukha siyang dry na dry. And this one, dahil moisturized siya, hindi siya ganun kahagar tingnan. There you go guys, we've reached the end of this video and if you think this video was helpful and kung may natutunan kayo and kung nagustuhan nyo to, then please give it a thumbs up and as usual, if you still haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Instagram at mookupgirl. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!